In the wake of that memorial service, most of the country's protests took on a more somber tone, largely peaceful. But an incident in Buffalo is raising more questions about excessive police force. Two police officers caught on camera shoving an elderly protester into the ground. You see it right there. It is disturbing. Whit Johnson starts us off with the fallout. Good morning, Whit. George, good morning to you. In these turbulent times, police officers across the country are being tested like never before. They are increasingly under the microscope, and we have seen uplifting moments with officers engaging with the protesters, even embracing them. But they are also being called out, accused of using excessive force and incidents often caught on camera. Overnight, protesters across the country largely peaceful, but still there were clashes between police and demonstrators. In New York City, an officer seen nearly pulling one woman down and then pushing another against a car. In Tampa, officers pepper spraying a crowd as people shouted at the officers to get off of a woman they were trying to detain. And this morning, two cops in Buffalo, New York, are under investigation after this disturbing video showing them shove a protester to the ground. That 75-year-old man suffering serious injuries, but the officer keeps walking as the man lies bleeding on the sidewalk. Another officer appears to radio for help. The man rushed to a hospital where he is in serious but stable condition. A city spokesperson initially said the man tripped and fell, but after the video surfaced, the police commissioner ordered an internal affairs investigation and the immediate suspension of the officers without pay. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo tweeting, this incident is wholly unjustified and utterly disgraceful. Across the country, police departments grappling with a wave of complaints against officers amid the ongoing protests. In Seattle, where a young girl was pepper sprayed by officers, <laughs> The city says it has received more than 14,000 complaints since the protests began. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, this officer is suspended and under investigation for shoving a peaceful protester on Sunday. You got your knee on my man's Come on, neck, man. In Sarasota, Florida, an officer on administrative leave and an investigation underway after this video from May surfaced showing him kneeling on the neck of a black man. And in Atlanta. Six cops were charged with using excessive force while arresting two college students during Saturday night protests. Police here in New York are also being criticized for arresting a food delivery worker who is just out after curfew. Take a look at the video here that was seen on social media. You can even see his red insulated food bag taken away as the man is placed in handcuffs. In a tweet, Mayor de Blasio said, this is not acceptable and must stop. TJ. All right, Wick, thank you so much.